Today on The Daily Dose, Westminster Abbey. First built in 960 by King Edgar as a Benedictine monastery, later rebuilt in the Gothic style by Edward the Confessor, who was too ill to attend the Abbey's consecration on December 28, 1065. Already ancient when New York was New Amsterdam, even before Amsterdam itself, the Abbey is older than Germany, Italy, and France. After Harold Godwinson's nine-month rule over England ended in his death at the Battle of Hastings, Westminster Abbey witnessed its first coronation when his Norman victor, William the Conqueror, was crowned King of England on Christmas Day, 1066, beginning a nearly 1,000-year tradition of royal coronations and burials which now includes the remains of thousands of revered dead, from royals and nobles to writers, musicians, scientists, and politicians, the greatest Britons of Great Britain, making the Abbey a hallowed ground of sorts, from bones to thrones. With its rich cultural history, Westminster Abbey seems to be in conversation with Britain's nearby House of Parliament, the Supreme Court, and the royal residence of Buckingham Palace, kept alive by some 275 full-time staffers and a security detail known as beetles, who raise flags atop one of the Abbey's 225-foot forward spires that announce whether the monarch is in residency, which foreign heads of state are visiting the English capital, and whether England is in a state of national mourning. From the outside, The Abbey is a showcase of Gothic style, replete with towering spires, flying buttresses, and intricate stone carvings that chronicle stories of religious and historical significance, giving the exterior a strong sense of Abbey time rather than human time. Once inside, visitors are greeted by lofty ceilings adorned with ribbed vaults, stained glass windows, and a nave filled with rows of elegant pews leading forward to the high altar, where coronations, royal weddings, and funerals capture a nation's history like nowhere else. Of the more than 3,000 notables buried in the Abbey, Poet's Corner is one of the highlights of any tour of this historic and quite grandiose structure, where literary giants such as William Shakespeare, Geoffrey Chaucer, and Charles Dickens have been entombed for their eternal rest. Today, Westminster Abbey represents a symbol of Britain's centuries of monarchy, spirituality, and national pride, attracting millions of visitors annually who come to admire its beauty and cultural heritage, making Westminster Abbey a one-stop glimpse into centuries of English history. And there you have it, Westminster Abbey, today on The Daily Dose. If you enjoyed this short educational video, consider giving the filmmakers a YouTube super thanks from as little as a dollar so that you too can feed the filmmakers who feed your brain.